Hello everyone, happy 2021, happy new year. I have some exciting news to share with you all. Last week to end 2020, I passed exam FM. Now, if you're wondering what exam FM is, it's an exam in financial mathematics that's given by the Society of Actuaries for people who are looking to enter the actuarial field. So, in order to prepare for this test, I bought this study manual. This is the ASM study manual. I read through the entire thing and I did all six practice exams at the end. I bought a month or two months worth, I think two months worth of Bray Nicole's study strategy program at etchedactuarial.com. I had used her study strategy program for exam P and at the time I needed to keep her study strategy program for the entire length of my uh, test preparation because I was very unsure, I was very nervous, I didn't have a lot of self-confidence because of my history with that test. But after about two months with her study strategy program for exam FM, I thought I was solid. I knew what I needed to do. I knew what I needed to read. I didn't need the uh, the weekly check-ins to make sure I was reading what I was reading. I, I, I had the self-discipline necessary. But if, if you personally need that motivation, I would definitely still recommend signing up for Brian Nicole's Etched Actuarial Study Strategy Program because it is a great program. And then um, when I had 15, so I did, that study strategy program, what it encompasses is um, you have to do all 200 some odd practice problems that are given by the SOA and then with 15 days left to the exam I made sure that I had all my formulas memorized There are something like 60 formulas that you have to memorize Conceptually a lot of people say this and I think it's true Conceptually exam FM is not as hard as exam P but there are many more concepts and many more formulas that you have to memorize and with 15 days left I bought adapt on coachingactuaries.com and I did maybe about nine or 10 practice exams. I got to earn level seven after three practice exams, which tells you that you have over a 90% chance of passing. And then after that, I was taking practice exams at level six and I was passing those. I, it's 35 multiple choice questions. So 26 out of 35, 27 out of 35 is supposed to be passing. And I was getting about that 26, 27. I was pretty nervous though still I mean you're always nervous with these tests and you're always like what if they ask things that aren't on the syllabus oh my gosh but you go in and I went in and I was uh, pretty amazed actually people say that the test is at level four to six this test felt like it was a level three I mean I was I felt over prepared I finished quite I finished all 35 questions and I had 45 minutes left and there was only one question that I ended up marking meaning that I had to go back to it later and I, I honestly didn't know how to answer it and the reason why I didn't know how to answer it was only because they use like a I, I don't want to say but they use like a they used vocabulary that I hadn't seen before but that was only one question so every other question I knew how to do and um, uh, so so definitely this textbook helps uh, the ASM study manual adapt helps I only needed it for the last 15 days though and the study strategy program just to give me an outline of what I needed to do. I used these two calculators. I used um, the TI-30 XS MultiView and, and the, the, the BA2 Plus. Uh, both these calculators are very useful, definitely need both of them. Um, but now that I've passed the first two exams, P and FM, I have a lot more self-confidence. I think I know how to pass these tests. I know how to prepare for them. And the next step in the journey is to get a job. So 2021 is going to be focused on um, finding actuarial internships, finding underwriting positions, whatever I can do to improve my technical skills, to increase my chances of getting a job as an actuary. You name the thing I need to do, I want to be able to do it. Um, so hopefully by the end of this year, you'll see me with a job <laughs> in the actuarial field. That would be awesome. Um, just as a side note, something I wanted to mention, um, Anyone can do this, okay? Anyone with, the enough, with enough drive, with enough desire to learn the math, with enough desire to learn the material, you can do it too. I'm not, there's nothing special about me. I just put the time and effort in. It's just a grind, that's all it is. And also don't uh, spend too much time like reading the textbook. It's your job to go through the textbook pretty much as fast as you can. If it was me, <clears throat> when, like this, ha this, this really, impeded my progress on exam P. I was sitting there saying to myself, I am not going to do any practice exams until I fully understand every single topic in the exam P manual. No, if you do that, you're gonna be there until you're 80. It's your job to just you know, read through the chapters and then start on the practice problems as soon as possible. 
that's what allowed me to exam pass exam FM. I started studying for it in the beginning of the year. I studied for it about two months, January and February 2020, and then COVID <laughs> happened, and so I ended up having to postpone the exam until later in 2020. Uh, I took it on Christmas Eve, the last possible day of the year that you could take it. <clears throat> I will say that uh, throughout all my practice tests and practice questions that I did for exam P and for exam FM, <sighs> there were no questions for exam FM that I didn't understand at the end of the day. You review it enough times, you understand the concepts. The, there were, and for exam P, there were two questions out of all the 700 something questions that I probably did. I remember there were two questions that I could, that, that I will fight to my dying breath had no right answer because they were improperly worded. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> there are two questions out there for exam P that, that are being offered right now that have no right answer. And then there was one question one single question out of all the 1500 something questions that I've done for these two tests that for the life of me, no matter how many times I tried it, no matter how many questions I asked about it, no matter how many video solutions I watched, no matter how many times I went away, thought about it, came back, I couldn't for the life of me begin to understand it. But that's not a problem with the Society of Actuaries or Brain Nicole or anyone else. That's just a problem of my brain. That's, I think, that's just the limit of my understanding. There is a question out there and it frustrates me that there's a question out there that I can't do. But, for the rest of it, it's all doable. I mean, you can do it all. You really can. And um, I think that um, you, if, if you want it badly enough, you can pass these tests. Um, so again, uh, good luck to anyone who wants to do it. Don't get discouraged. It is possible. I thought it was impossible myself, but now I have two exams behind me and now begins the job search. So um, thank you to everyone who supported me. Thank you to ADAPT, to Brand Nicole, to um, you know, to ASM, I guess, to the SOA, to my friends and family who supported me throughout the whole thing. And um, yeah, hopefully next time you see me, I'll have a job in the field. So thanks everyone. I'll talk to you soon.